Hi and welcome back. As you can see, what we've, what we've got is sentence that is our today's topic. So, welcome to sentence. We've talked about um, a phrase, clause, types of clause, and so on. So, let's just get started. So, um, the definition says this is a group of words used to make what to make a statement ask what ask a question give what give a command that is you're talking about order or, or instruction um, an instruction or make an exclamation so you a sentence that you make this means that there is the one that um, is a statement you have the one that is for question that is you ask a question and you have the one that is um, it is an instruction you give and you have the one that is um, an exclamation so a sentence must at least have an independent clause at least for you to say this is a sentence it should have at least an independent clause and we've talked about um, what an independent clause is so like oh sorry before the examples we'll talk about simple sentence compound sentence complex sentence and compound complex sen sentence so now we talk about the simple sentence where it says this is the sentence that consists of just one independent clause and when we say an independent clause we mean um, a main clause so what it ha what it has is one independent clause like you see here you and I are friends you and I are friends so this is an independent clause it is a main clause and it is one main clause that we have here so everything is complete the meaning is complete you say this is a simple sentence who are you this is a question so um, is a main clause that means it is an independent clause and it is one independent clause that we have here so we say this is a simple sentence Tense. Remember, an independent clause can stand alone as a sentence. Get out of my room. Get out of my room. So this one, you are speaking to someone, you ask them to get out of your room. This is one independent clause. And we say that it is a simple sentence. Wait. Even though that you have, it is one word that you have, but you simply understand that um, the person who speaks or the person you speak to, what you mean that you are telling them to wait. So it's just one word, but you have, which we can say that you mean the person you're speaking to, to wait. You are asking them to wait. Uh, you wait. So wait, everything is um, complete. It's one independent clause. So we say this is a simple sentence. What's happening? What's happening? You are asking someone. What's happening? So this is an independent clause and it is one. This is a simple sentence. Don't disturb me. Don't disturb me. Independent one, independent clause. So we say it is um, a simple sentence. He is a good boy simple sentence one independent clause they don't want to help us it's one independent clause so you know what that is what a lovely dress you have what a lovely dress you have it's one independent clause so we say it is a simple sentence how loyal you are how loyal you are like maybe you are happy because the person is loyal so you tell them how loyal you are 
so this is one independent clause so this sentence we say is a simple sentence let's have more examples wash your hands one independent clause you know what that is what do you want is a question so one independent clause a simple sentence how bad that game was how bad that game was this simply means that you are not happy so uh, sorry is a simple sentence is one independent clause you have do you speak english is an independent clause uh, main clause so uh, it is one that we have here we say is it this is a simple sentence you speak arabic is a simple sentence because it is one independent clause that you have ali and samir are students so it's one independent clause that you have say um as a simple sentence why did you go out is a simple sentence because it has one main clause sweep my room simple sentence this is ridiculous this is ridiculous this clearly shows that you are not happy so it's one independent clause you say it is a simple sentence sit properly this is so you mean you are speaking to the person you ask them to sit properly this is um this is it has one independent clause so we say it is a simple sentence now i i hope the examples were were, were enough to make you understand um what a simple sentence is now we'll move or we'll take each of them and say what what its name is like for example what do we call wash your hands what is what do you want so let's start having that so you see the first example that we had was you and i am um, friends so what do you call you remember um, when making a sentence what do you do is you make a statement you ask a question you um, give an order or you make an exclamation now this one you and i are friends this type we say is a declarative that is this is a statement this is a declarative a statement who are you you should be able to know that this one is a question so it is interrogative interrogative that is the um, that is what it is asking question get out um get out of my room this one you should be able to know that is what imperative command instruction order wait um wait you should be able to know that this two is imperative i'm using imperative that is command or let's say instruction what's happening this one you should be able to know that it is interrogative question don't disturb me you should be able to know that, that this is imperative he is a good boy it's just like you and i are friends so this is declarative it is a statement wash your hands this one is imperative order instruction what do you want you should be able to know that this is interrogative how bad that game was how bad that game was this one is excla um exclamatory exclamatory that is for exclamation do you speak english this is a question so you say it is interrogative you speak arabic you see that that one that one is a question but this one isn't you speak arabic you say this is declarative it is a statement 
alliance mayor are students just like that um you and i are friends so this true is declarative it is a statement why did you go out should be able to know that this is interrogative i hope you are not tired they don't want to help us you should be able to know that this is this is declarative what a lovely dress you have you should be able to know that this is exclamatory how loyal you are you should be able to know that this too is exclamatory sweep my room you should be able to know this is imperative instruction command order so on this is ridiculous you should be able to know this is exclamatory and the last but not the least says sit properly you should be able to know that this is imperative so i hope now you 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 will be able to differentiate between declarative and imperative or if you see exclamatory that you know that this is exclamatory if you see um interrogative you say this is this is interrogative i that's it for now i hope that the lesson was useful i hope it was great i hope you enjoyed it and uh, next time we'll talk about well, the next sentence is going to be about um it's going to be or well, the next topic or let's say even the next sentence is going to be um about a compound sentence that's what we are going to talk about until so next time